I'm Brian, a technician at Clearwater Lights. Today I'm going to show you how to program any one of our can openers on your water-cooled BMW. Before we get started, make sure the engine is running. You can make these changes in neutral with a kickstand down or on the center stand if desired, which also disables the hill assist feature. This is useful for some of the setting changes. First, I want to tell you about the factory settings, which we refer to as default in our manual. Every can opener comes preset with default settings. You can find them in our can opener manual, highlighted in red. Also, I'll be mentioning them as we go along. If at any time you'd like to change everything back to the default settings, first, press and release the turn signal cancel button, then hold the left turn signal while triggering the flash to pass six times. I should also mention that for any feature with multiple modes, the command will cycle from first mode to last, then start over with the first again. In other words, performing a command on the last mode will bring you back to mode one. With that said, let's start with something easy and something you will likely use a lot. We're simply going to turn the lights off, then back on. To turn the Darla channel off, hold the turn signal to the left for five seconds. To turn them back on, hold the turn signal to the right for three seconds. The KES channel is where the Krista, Erica, or Savina lights are connected. To turn this channel off, hold the turn signal cancel in for two seconds. To turn them on, hold the turn signal cancel in again for two seconds. Pretty simple, right? Now let's dim the lights. To dim the Darla channel, first press and release the turn signal cancel, then hold the wonder wheel to the left for two seconds. The lights will then flash to let you know you're in the dimming mode. Now rotate the wonder wheel forward and back to dim the lights up and down in 10% increments. Pressing and releasing the turn signal cancel once more will save that setting and exit the dimming mode. To dim the KES channel, do the same as the Darla channel, but hold the wonder wheel to the right instead. If you adjust the lights with enough ambient light, that setting will be saved for day use. If you adjust the lights at night or with something covering the instrument cluster, that setting will be saved for night use. The can opener will read from the can bus the amount of available ambient light allowing the lights to auto adjust between the two settings based on day or nighttime settings. Now let's change the high beam mode. There are three high beam mode settings depending on what you want. First, mode one is as long as the lights are on and low beam, they will go to high beam with the bike. The second mode, which is the default setting, causes the lights to operate in high beam whether they are turned on or not. Finally, mode three is the same as mode two, but after triggering the flash to pass three times, the lights will strobe for two seconds, adding additional caution to oncoming traffic. Now this may seem a little tricky, but it's pretty easy once you get used to it. To change between the modes, press and release the turn signal cancel, then hold the front brake while triggering the flash to pass five times. The first time you do this will take you to mode three, since the default was mode two. Repeat the procedure to shift the programming to mode one and so on. Okay, next is the horn setting modes. There are three horn setting modes. Mode one, our lights will not do anything when pressing the horn. Uh, mode two, which is the default setting, is when our lights will go to high beam for the duration of the horn. Finally, mode three, our lights will strobe for the duration of the horn. To change these modes, press and release the turn signal cancel, then hold the front brake lever while pressing and releasing the turn signal cancel five times. At this time, I would like to mention that any command using multiple front brake lever pulls requires a bit of precision. The timing and pull of the pulling, releasing, and how hard you pull the brake lever is essential. It will not work if you do it too fast, too slow. Also, if you pull the brake lever too hard, you may activate the hill assist and throw off the count. All right, next let's turn on the hazard flashing. Mode one is off, which is the default setting. Mode two is on. To enable this feature, you will need to press and release the turn signal cancel once then hold the hazard button down while pulling the front brake lever five times. Again, timing of this is crucial. So depending on your version of can opener, things can be a little different. 
If your can opener is version 2.0 or newer, the lights will strobe whenever you hit the hazards after entering mode two. Now, if your can opener is version 1.9 or older, you will have to hold down the hazard button for the duration of which you want our lights to flash. Next, let's turn on the turn signal dimming feature. This will have them dim to the lowest setting. This is a great feature for those who want our lights to dim for better turn signal visibility by oncoming traffic. Notice this feature is only offered on can opener version 2.0 and up. Mode one is off. This is the default setting. Mode two is on. To activate the turn signal dimming mode, press and release the turn signal cancel, then hold the turn signal to the right while pulling the front brake lever five times. Remember, timing and pressure on the brake matters, so keep that in mind. The Billy brake light is also customizable, so let's do that next. After completing a mode change, the light will flash two to four times based on its mode with the exception of mode one where it will simply be off. There are four modes for the Billy brake light. Mode one is off, meaning it won't work at all. Mode two, which is the default setting, operates the same as your factory brake and tail light. Mode three, we call California flashing mode. This mode will cause the brake light to flash four times when letting off the throttle or braking before going full solid. Then finally, mode four is the speed sensitive mode. This is where the harder you brake, the faster the flash rate. It also continues to flash all the way down to five miles per hour. Now keep in mind that all of the flashing modes only work above five miles per hour. This is to prevent any annoyance to those behind you in stop and go traffic. To change the brake light mode, you will need to press and release the turn signal cancel, then pull the brake lever five times. Again, timing and pressure of this is crucial. You can also dim the Billy brake light if desired. You have two functions you can control, braking light and the running light intensity levels. To dim the Billy, press and release the turn signal cancel button, then pull in the front brake. Then hold the wonder wheel to the right for two seconds. The lights will flash twice, indicating you have entered the dimming mode. Continue holding the brake lever and then simply rotate the wonder wheel up and down to achieve the desired level. That's going to program the brake section of it. Then you're going to release the lever and rotate the wheel for the running tail light level. Finally, pressing and releasing the turn signal cancel once more will save that setting and exit the dimming mode. Now I'm going to show you the inertial braking sensitivity modes. There are three modes of sensitivity for this feature. Mode one is off, which is default for can opener version 1.9 and lower. Mode two is set to low sensitivity. Mode three is high sensitivity, which is default for can opener version 1.91 and higher. Now in modes two and three, the brake light will automatically engage when the deceleration of the bike reaches a certain threshold value, also known as engine braking. To change these modes, you will need to press and release the turn signal cancel, then press and release the rear foot brake five times. When the Billy brake light is in mode two and three, a stationary brake flash can be generated to warn vehicles behind you that you're there. This function is only offered on can opener version 1.82 and higher. If you want the Billy light to flash while the bike is stationary, a four flash burst can be generated by pulling the front brake lever twice and holding it. If the rider is already holding the brake, releasing and holding it again will activate four flashes. Okay. That completes the tutorial on the clear water lights and the can opener. We are really happy with the functionality of the can opener, especially how it doesn't require a computer to program it. This video, along with the cheat sheet found on page one of the can opener manual, is all you need to get comfortable making changes on the fly as you feel necessary. Thanks for watching. We hope this helps you benefit from all the great features provided in the Clearwater system. Thank you for trusting us with your lighting needs and by being a Clearwater customer.